Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are back in the platform bedroom, ready to put some plywood in place and get this thing covered. What, what happened here? What? That, actually, that was there. That was not, that wasn't me. That yeah, was, it was That was there from the last people. Mm, it's not true. Me. What's my fault? Don't we sand ever though, or? Is that just stuck there forever? Um, Kayla, why did we sand that? Kayla was supposed to sand that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I have to measure this? Did you measure the back piece? Yeah, we need a back piece there, but let's wait on it because it's going to be half inch shorter because our pieces are going to be on each side. So hold off on that one. This one. We're going to have one board that goes all the way along here. It's going to start here. It's going to go underneath this. Why did we use that for this? Because I, I wanted to close those ones off, especially, um, you know, not sure. She doesn't like that. Honey, can you clean this mess up that I made? Thanks. So I'm quality control and the janitor? Clean up control and quality control, they go together. <laughs> and you're going to tell me, so this is our 16 inch pieces. How many do we need and what the lengths are? We just need two of them. Two of them? Okay, what uh, is the length? The length is one plus seven inches. Okay, there's one. That's fine. Okay. No, this was the edge we cut. So I always try to use a factory edge up against the fence because that's the straightest edge, right? So go ahead and clip it on. Okay. And then we had two of them, 19 inches, yeah. sanded side. Not that it really matters too much, but these these don't have to be screwed in that much. So I'm just gonna put like four screws in each panel. For both of them, it's two foot eight inches. And so we'll cut those once we get this run through here. So we're going to cut the 14 inch pieces first. Yeah, because I was waiting to figure 
figure out the dimensions of the trap door. So the trap door is going to go right here. It's going to end somewhere down here. The trap door will be right here. Here's the deal, 67 and a quarter. So the saw, I need to run the saw along here, so. It needs you need to, to like be, hold it? No, it needs to be right there. Wait, I didn't clamp it. <laughs> oh no, I moved it. <laughs> cool, that's it right there, that's perfect. Good job. Well done. So we need to cut off uh, 12 inches. There's quite a bit of room back there. Go to your right. Go to your right. Okay. Set it up on the edge. Wait, that Slide it. Do exactly what you've been doing. Just keep the pressure up against that fence. But. This is going to be our desk back. So the one we're going to cut the trap door hole in. Get my metal square. It's up against. This, the way this is cut, I almost want to put it this way. Well, this isn't the good side of the wood, so be more prepared. Side. Okay, that's fine. So we've got a gap here where either so I'm gonna have to like figure something out here. So I just need you to climb in there, and I'm gonna give you a pen. And then I'm going to put the wood up against here, and then you're from the inside, you're, you're going to draw out the, the square. Okay. What about this? I'll, I'll take care of that. You're going to be in here? Yeah. Ugh. Okay. So what I need you to do is trace it right on the edge of all the way around, okay? Yeah, hang on, don't do it yet. Good? It's working on me. Okay. You know how claustrophobic I am. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> You're a real good wife, you know that? <laughs> you tricked me. You tricked me. <laughs>
All right, so a little update at where what we're doing here and where we're at. So we've got um, all the inside of the storage uh, areas covered just along the edges, and, and that's half inch plywood that we put uh, all on the inside of that. That's just to keep things from bumping into any of the electrical wires and just to kind of keep it uh, just a little bit more uh, contained in there. We've got all of our plywood cut to cover the top. None of this is screwed down yet. I want to make sure everything fit nice and square. And then this piece right here is our trap door piece that uh, right there. So that will uh, get some hinges, hidden hinges underneath it, and then a, a latch here that will be a, a flush mount uh, latch. We have our desk area right here. So there'll be a nice long desk. I have to cover this, put some stairs here, cover uh, all these like uh, support pieces. I'm gonna get a piece of uh, melamine, I think, for the top. But what I'd like to do next is we're gonna get all this screw down and then we're gonna mud all of the screw holes and all of the seams and let that dry. And then along this edge here, we'll get some trim. So that'll be some quarter round that'll go along that edge because I think the wall is a little crooked right there. It must kind of flex out just a little bit. And so we've got some gaps and I put a hole in the wall back there. Whoops. So the idea is to uh, secure this down uh, really well. I don't want this to be flexing at all. So we're gonna be putting quite a few screws in this. Um, using inch and five eighths screws. So we should get a pretty good bite through the three quarter inch plywood and into the two by four framing down below. Everything will get uh, pre-drilled and countersunk with that bit so that uh, we get a nice, I want the heads to sink in, you know, a good uh, eighth to quarter of an inch below the surface of this so I can mud over those and you'll, you won't see them. So we've got a lot of work to do to finish this stage. Let's get to it. It's, it should be pretty easy. All we need to do, just write, just write these numbers down. 18 inches and then here, 18 inches and 36 and a half. I don't think it needs we, a lot of what? So let's get this. I want this all to be pretty tight. Okay. But the trap door needs a little bit of fold space in here. It should be something like that. Should be fine. So we're going to be using drywall mud, basically. I've done this in the past with some other plywood type beds and projects, and it actually resists cracking pretty good. So we'll use this. I'll admit this is not the best stuff. It's probably got some dried up clumps in it, but it'll be all right. So a lot of like there's chip out right here. This is probably way too big, I'll have to get a smaller one, but we're gonna fill in the screw holes. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Make sure there's, it's okay if there's, I'm gonna, it'll sand off really easy. And just make sure you kind of push it in there yeah. a little bit. And then I'll get stuff like this. Well, that is that is it for this phase. I still have some more work to do with uh, the stairs and some of the desk stuff, but we'll do that in a later video. So we'll have to let all the uh, the drywall mud dry out, and then we'll we'll sand this lightly, and then uh, this will all get painted over. So I'll do three coats of paint on this. This will get a primer for bare wood or bare drywall. It's a it's a bare uh, I think it's a drywall primer actually. We'll put that on here, and then we'll put our two final coats of paint to uh, whatever final color we're going to choose. And that will seal this all over. I need to make a cabinet door for this somehow. My cut did not turn out as good as I had hoped. Uh, I probably will have to shave this down. There's a little bit of a lip here. 
um, and this I veered off. I had a straight edge on that uh, jigsaw and my straight edge, uh, I let it slide. And so I ended up going off on a curve here. So I might have to try to straighten this up with a router. I've got a, a trim router I could try uh, to set up some guides for and, uh, and see if I can get this straightened out. But I think, it, I think it turned out pretty good. The storage areas are really nice and uh, they're nice and roomy in there. So underneath these storage areas, the, all the half inch plywood, um, it doesn't go all the way up to the top in most areas. It just keeps airflow, um, nothing sealed up. I don't want any moisture buildup or anything like that. And then there's uh, gaps at the top here. This leads to the center section that is not being used. And then that leads uh, then over to the second section where the trap door is. So everything has open airflow that way. And then there, I can actually access the outlet behind the uh, plywood here. So that uh, meets code. It's not covered. It's not concealed. But I think these little storage areas turned out nice. And then there's the little trap door area that will, will be covered. I've got something cool in store for that. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the, uh, the platform bed series. This is a uh, project's kind of getting done a little bit here and there whenever I have time because it's springtime, it's gardening season and we're spending a lot of time outside doing different things. And so uh, whenever it rains, we come in here and start working and get some things done. Lots more work to come on this, uh, the platform bedroom. And I'm excited to get this done and, and get uh, my daughter's, she's excited too, because she wants to move in here and have a room back. She's sharing a room right now. and so. Uh, we'll get keep working on this we'll take you guys along for all the finishing steps So don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video Of course subscribe if you want to follow along get updates on all the new uh, new content and as always guys. Thanks for watching Have a good one